Hop Company is going to make so much money. But hello and welcome back to the channel. And just really quick before I get started, I want to apologize for not uploading yesterday. I ended up downloading the seamless co-op mod for Elden Ring, which basically it allows you to play through the entirety of the game co-op without having to, you know, worry about uh, loading zones and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I ended up playing that with my brother for, you know, a few hours yesterday. And by the time we stopped, I, uh, I didn't have time to make my video because I had to go to work the next day. So yeah, I recorded a bunch of like basically our entire play session though. So I'm probably going to make a video on that at some point, although it is a uh, lot of footage. So it's going to take me a while to edit that. So that probably won't come out until next week, maybe. But yeah, I'm just here playing uh, Halo Infinite. I was going to play Modern Warfare, but I mean, I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting sick of looking at shipment, despite the fact it's like one of the more fun maps to play in the game just because it's so small. But uh, just playing on these other maps and when there's only 12 people in a game is like, there's so many, it's so slow and boring. Oh my God. It's crazy too, because I was watching Jeb's video that he uploaded yesterday by the time this goes up and uh, he was playing Cold War. And I didn't know this, but I guess because the game is old, they just have a bunch of the playlists just selectable in the game at all times. And uh, one of the playlists in that game is uh, 12v12. I think Modern Warfare 2 had an 8v8 playlist at some point. But man, what I would kill for a 12v12 playlist to just be constant in uh, Modern Warfare 2. Like, it would make some of the bigger maps feel so less dead because it's like 6v6 on some of those maps is just it's so empty you know it would be a lot more engaging you, you wouldn't run around for 30 seconds and then get killed by somebody hiding in a dumpster uh but yeah in other news uh, evo is happening this weekend in las vegas you know with all the tournament stuff going on there's also going to be a bunch of uh, game announcements that probably happen throughout the weekend some of the bigger ones are probably going to be on sunday as well which is the final day so for street fighter 6 they announced new costumes for four of the characters they announced a costume for guile marissa Jer and DJ and they all look really cool but uh on the internet especially Twitter people are like super excited for Jury and Marissa's Marissa's costume is from her arcade mode it's a piece of artwork that you can see uh it's basically her and like her wedding dress it looks super cool You know, maybe it was not wise to run at a squad of six people with a melee weapon. Jerry's costume is a, I don't know what the correct word is, but it, it's basically like pajamas. It's all called a Kigurumi, I think it is. And it, it's basically like a pair of baggy pajamas. Oh my God. It has a hood on it and everything and the hood has like holes in it so her hair can stick out which is funny but yeah i'm not sure when those are coming out but uh hopefully it's relatively soon because i'm always a fan of more aesthetic choices for the way your character looks in a fighting game Also, a new uni game got announced, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically if you ever watch a uh, fighting game videos on YouTube, uh, there's a very high likelihood that uh, the music in the background is from that game. If you've ever heard this song. then uh, yeah, that's from the uni game. And uh, that series is mostly known for having uh, this really weird naming convention that I'm not even gonna try to explain because I don't even fully understand it. But but yeah, a new game for uh, that series got announced, which is super cool because that game is not super popular, but I mean, from what I hear about it, it's very uh, well regarded in terms of the uh, people who play it. And uh, what else got announced? Oh yeah, Iron Galaxy, the company that made uh, Killer Instinct 2013, uh, they announced recently that uh, after what, however long it was when since development ended for that game, there's going to be a new update for the game for the, its 10th anniversary, which is going to do things like add support for higher resolutions. There's going to be a balance update and they're going to improve matchmaking, which I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, yeah, that's super cool for that game. I never really got into that game because that was uh, a time where I wasn't super into fighting games. But yeah, that game is super well regarded, not only for its gameplay, but also for its like online functionality. And it's kind of hard to kill anybody when I have all these short range weapons. It's crazy that a game that came out 10 years ago is getting updates still.
But uh, after Evo is over, I'm definitely going to uh, try and catch up on all the tournament footage because it's always fun to watch people at like the highest level of the game playing against each other. I would like to go to Evo at some point in my life, but I feel like I would need to go with like a group of people just to make it like a cool thing, like an event, you know, I guess make a trip out of it. I think Arxis, they tease, Arxis teases this, um, but for season three of Guilty or Strive, there's going to be a update that adds new special moves to some of the characters, which I feel like is not something that happens super often. You know, there'll be balance updates and stuff, but I can't remember the last time a game added like new moves to uh, the existing game and characters. So this is mid edit me realize, realizing I forgot to mention one other thing about Evo. The League of Legends fighting game Project L uh, announced its fourth character and it's Yasuo, which uh, I know nothing about League or uh, Yasuo specifically, except for the fact that apparently tons of people hate him because uh, he's like super good and annoying to fight. So uh, I have nothing other to say than that's very funny. I literally did all the damage to that guy and I didn't get to kill. That's so upsetting. I'm recording this video kind of late. I mean, it's not that late. It's that, at least it's not as late as I usually record these videos, but uh, yeah, I was watching uh, people stream Baldur's Gate 3, which uh, I don't normally play games like that. I think the term is CRPG. I'm uh, watching people play that. And uh, I know the studio Larian, uh, they made Divinity, Original Sin 1 and 2, and Pillars of Eternity. I just killed myself. Oh my god. Oh my god, I could just hear all the sonar pings. Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, the games they make are all super good. And uh, you know, I remember hearing uh, a lot of good things about Divinity Original Sin 2, which I have, but I never really played. I will say one thing that has always kind of driven me away from playing CRPGs is the uh, camera angle. I kind of wish that, uh, you know, games like that would be made, but they would be like third person or first person. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I guess I'm just kind of a normie. What is this? All right, we take those. Wow, we won. How did they let us do that to them? But uh, yeah, I think Baldur's Gate 3, at some point I'm gonna buy it and play it. And uh, yeah, I'll probably, that'll be the game that I give the biggest shot to because I played Divinity Original Sin 2 a little bit, but I didn't really get into it. I feel like my brain is too small to understand the minutia of like, the stat intensive mechanics and whatnot, but I don't know. Apparently, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is very like new player friendly. So yeah, I definitely, I'm a huge fan of like RPGs where you can like make your characters and you know, get immersed in a world and a story. So yeah, I definitely want to play that at some point. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm not super, uh, I'm still kind of rusty playing Halo. You know, I play every now and again, and every time I do, it feels like I'm playing the game for the first time. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I think that's going to do it for me for today. I just wanted to make a quick video you know, just to make sure people don't think I'm dead or anything. Also, I need to stream World at War again at some point. I played it the other day on stream, but uh, I had to stop to go do something. So yeah, at some point, I'm going to try and stream that again. It might be this some point this weekend. So yeah, just keep on the lookout for that. I guess, but uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for me for today. If you enjoyed the video, uh, liking it and subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated. So uh, yeah, later.